Okay, so we have a cylinder of diameter of 60 millimeters and has this length of 70, and that's completely penetrated by a square prism of 30 millimeters size and 90 millimeters as is horizontally. Both as is intersect and bisect each other. All faces of the prism are equally inclined to HP. You want to draw projections showing the curves of intersection. So with a rectangle, we can draw the front view of the standing solid. And then switch the layer to some center line layer. And draw a center line. Now we can switch back to layer 0 and then draw the top view of the standing solid. Right, so I can track that point and of course the radius is going to be 30, half of 60. Now I'll go for polygon from the draw group in the home tab. Make sure you've clicked on the edge method. The number of sides obviously is for side is 30 and then the angle is 45 now let me switch to uh, some construction layer and then draw in my axis and draw the mitre line as well Okay, so I'll attempt to project the point, which is basically the uh, cylinder, the top view of the cylinder. So I'll continue with the projections. I'm just going to copy this to the side view because definitely uh, the front view and the side view of the cylinder are going to be the same. And then for the side view of the prism, I just want to locate it at the center, at the center of. of the side view of the cylinder I've just drawn. I want to be sure that I've got in the exact center, so let's measure and see. Okay, obviously I didn't get a center.
so let me probably just move it outside of the projection of the cylinder So I'll move it away and then just so not to confuse the software. Now I'll grab it by its midpoint. Now I can go and track the actual midpoint of of the rectangle. Now I have it so if I were to measure 8.7 and then 8.7 now i have the correct projection of the prism on the side view so i can project it to the front view and before that let's trim these parts off Now I can track that point to the front view and of course that half distance there was well, going to be 45 so I can copy that to the other side. Let's trim those parts. The axis of the prism is 90. So from where I began from, you know, half of it is going to be 45. Now I draw in uh, my hidden lines. And trim those parts as well. Well, let's switch to layer zero and then with rectangle we can now project those points to get the view of the prism on the top view so I track that point Now uh, these parts will be drawn with hidden lines. So I'd go for M test.
and then copy that to, to those locations. So we edit those. So that's going to be one prime, two, four, then three prime, Copy those. And add it then. So for prime. Or rather for prime prime. So, of course, I have to label the edges of the prism as well. So, I'll just copy that and then paste them around those corners and edit them. Now I can project those points. So we'd we'll go with the first point projected vertically downwards. And then to my left, until it hits the circumference of the circle. Of course, that's where the two solids are intersecting. Then project it back up. That's confirmation. If it goes to the right, see it hits the same point. And then PO for points. And then I position a point there. So that is uh, the first point on the side view A prime prime. Now I go for the second one B prime prime. And that goes through that portion or that route until it hits its horizontal here and so PO for points and then I can go for C prime prime it goes through the center and then hits that point so PO right exactly so PO for points and then I have that
So we go to draw, then click on spline. So A prime to B prime. Now we can mirror the curve. Then we can select both curves and then mirror them to the other side. So PO for point and then we can put in the point there. Now connect that part and those parts as well. Of course I need to add in the labels as well. So let's just copy A prime prime and then you know bring it here. So that would be A prime there. So A prime, and we can copy that, so that should be B prime, and then B prime, and then C prime. Definitely we can mirror them to the other side. That's the look of our final solution.